Endovascular therapy is a standard treatment in many centers for acute large vessel occlusion stroke, but it is often avoided for patients with large strokes because of limited randomized trial data and concern about causing hemorrhage in the region of infarction. In this open label multi center randomized controlled trial, 202 patients in Japan with acute large vessel occlusion stroke and imaging evidence of a large infarct were assigned to receive either endovascular therapy plus medical care or medical care alone. Approximately 27% of the patients in both groups received Altaplase at 0.6 mg per kilogram, the Japanese guideline standard, which is a lower dose than in some countries. The primary study outcome, a modified rank and scale score of 0, indicating no disability, to 3, indicating moderate disability, occurred in 31% of the endovascular therapy group versus 13% of the medical care group. Secondary outcomes were generally in the same direction as the primary outcome. These included a shift in modified rank and scale ordinal categories and the proportion with at least an 8-point improvement in NIH stroke scale score at 48 hours after admission. Intracranial hemorrhage was more common in the endovascular therapy group, but symptomatic intracranial hemorrhage rates were similar between treatment groups. The authors conclude that patients with large cerebral infarctions had better functional outcomes with endovascular treatment than with medical care alone, but had more intracranial hemorrhages. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.